Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we're finishing up this arch top project right here and we're going to complete it for that vintage look with this Bigsby vibrato system on it. And I'm just going to give you some pointers on how to install this thing the proper way. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need a little tape here. Put that down where the screw holes are to protect your finish and obviously on the back. Uh, you're going to need some string here, which I'll explain to you is for what in a second. Uh, First of all, the holes you have in the back of the Bigsby are these four holes that are mounted to the back of the guitar. Now, if you're worried about it going through and having some issues with that, you don't have to worry about it because you have that seam in the back of your guitar where there's a tone block here, which actually holds the two ends together and does help with some of the sound of the guitar. Now, what you're going to need is obviously the Bigsby, some screws, a little bit of tape, and you're also going to need this piece of string, which is really crucial to installing this and I'm going to show you why. If you come on in here with the camera, we'll show you exactly what that string is. And this is the proper way to set this up. Okay. Don't force the hinge down to set the hinge where it's nice and square to the body. And you're going to start here. If you look underneath there, you'll see that the string is around the uh, big E position string right there. And it's also around the high E on the other one. If you follow that string up, it goes over the nut on both ends around the peg heads and you'll also notice that the saddle is not attached at this time the reason for that is so that these strings can run clear through here now this is really exaggerated but what you're looking at where the string is as you'll notice that it's way off the fretboard on one side and this one is way cocked and this is how you position your Bigsby properly you make sure that you're square to the ends, the hinges, and you reposition the Bigsby until you have it square. The lines are free from the nut to the top of the vibrato, making sure that its spacing is even on both sides of that fretboard. Also adjusting your big speed to make sure you're square. You want to make sure that you're off the pickups and that's why the saddle is not here because otherwise it would run down the tracks of the rollers and that would impede it to the back of the vibrato and it would not function properly. So now you'll notice that the strings are evenly spaced all the way down the fretboard through the pickups which through the saddle eventually and they're sitting in the big speed where it's all nice and square. So at this point we're going to mark those holes and then we're going to drill those out. So uh, while I mark the holes and uh, we'll drill that out. You can just uh, pause that for a minute and we'll get back to it when I'm done with that and move on to the next part of the install. You'll notice on the back of this Bigsby there's a hole here on this particular model. That is for your guitar strap. It goes right in the middle of there. The other one obviously goes on the front. When you get this set up and you have your lines markered in your dots, make sure that your drill position is correct because once you drill the hole, obviously you can't take the hole back out of the body. So if you need to go back and check it a few times, absolutely check it before you drill the hole to make sure it's exactly where you want it. Okay, the screws have been put into it. It's been placed in its proper position. Now reset the string, and as you can see, if you follow it up, both strings are nice and evenly spaced on the fretboard. They pass over the uh, magnetic screw posts on the pickups through the saddle. And if you look at the saddle for a moment here, for Bigsby's and uh, vibratos, tremolos, I prefer to use these rolling saddles because the strings move up and down on them I think a little easier than just the regular standard saddle that comes for a tunematic bridge. You can see it goes underneath the tensioner, you have the spring in your Bigsby and it gets mounted from this way. This is the same way that the strings will be mounted onto it and that is the correct installation. One thing I will show you real quickly, if you look at the back where the holes are, you'll notice that the center of this hole is not dead nut center on that seam. That is where this belongs. This seam here is irrelevant 
to where the Bigsby needs to be positioned when it's put in correctly. So if you get your Bigsby lined up the correct way, and you have it set on the body like it should be, but it doesn't line up with that back seam exactly, don't worry about that seam. It's the relationship from the nut, the fretboard, the pickups, through to the Bigsby that's important, not where that seam lines up. Again, I want to stress, be very careful with your location. Put your holes in correctly. You can't remove them again. Uh, this vintage build is now ready. It looks uh, pretty much the way I wanted it to look. And now we're going to get some strings on it, uh, let the strings settle down for a few days, and we'll plug it in and give it a test drive. Thanks for watching this part of the video. And if you liked it, subscribe and hit that like button, please.